And here we have our picture of the Grand Canyon back again. Once again, I've left it overnight, and I'm just going to start working on it right now. And I'm just going to start at the top and work my way down to the bottom. I want to adjust the sky, and as I do, I'm going to be reshaping the distant ridge. I'm making the sky lighter on the left side, the direction of the sun. We'll put a slightly darker ridge across the very top. We just want to indicate the different layers of the canyon, not paint each one. I'm adding just ultramarine blue to indicate these shadow areas. Since the painting on, on the surface is still slightly wet, uh, the blue is being neutralized or minimized with the wet paint underneath. By adding a touch more of red into this blue, I'm going to keep the left side of the canvas more into the purple-violet range, and as it comes to the right side, I'm going to make it more in the ye yellow-orange range. Once again, the right side will be more yellow and orange, which you can see clearly in the photograph. The shadows are important in the background, just to give them some form, but once again, without calling too much attention to them. Now, as these shadows come forward, they get darker, indicating that they are closer to us. So I'm going to paint the shadows closer to us, slightly darker than the ones in the distance. And then as we come to the major rock, I'm going to darken it even just slightly more. Even though this is dark, it still isn't black, and there's lots of room for a variety of color and slight value changes. One advantage to using so few colors is that I can intermix every color with every color and still not create mud. I try to make the strokes follow the direction of the form on these rock formations. I'm mainly using just ultramarine blue, red, and orange to create my darks. If I add more red, the darks look a little bit warmer. If I add more blue, they look cooler. That way I can get a lot of variety with just those three colors.
Now I want to add some more color into these trees, so I'm going to be mixing up more orange and phthalo blue with touches of yellow. I'm going to brush back over my dark area on the rock one more time, simplify some of the shapes, and close in some of the values and work in just a touch of warm color in some of these areas. Come back with a dark accent again. And just a slight cool light on the top. Put a little green in it just to give it a little color variety. And strengthen the shadow along the bottom here one more time with straight ultramarine blue. And that brings this canyon scene to completion.